Hello, everyone. Uh, we are again taking some examples related to the DFA. Let's say that we have a language L1, which says that the W, where W is element of AB star, and W starts with A. Now, the DFA for this will be that it starts with A. So the smallest string that can be accepted by this is small a. After this, either a comes or b comes. I don't mind. Okay, so this will be the automata for this. If I mark the states q0 and q1, but if my string starts with b, that should not be accepted. So q0, and I'm moving to the dead state q2. If I get a or b in the dead state, I should remain at the dead state only. Now let's say we have L2 string, which is once again, the alphabet set is AB, it ends with B. So if my string ends with B, then the language will contain small b, that will be the smallest string. And then I can have AB, I can have ABB and so on and so forth. Now the automata for this will be, let's take Q3 state, which is the start state. It should end with B. So let's say there is a state Q4, which is the final state. It has to end with B. That means that if another B comes at Q4, it should remain at the Q4 state only. Now, if I have a, a, I should make a transition to the Q3 state. Aisa ho sakta hai ki baad mein se B a jai. Iska kya hai? Ki B string, B aya, fir A a gaya, fir B a gaya. So, iska ye accept ho jana chahiye. So, with B, I move to Q4 state. With A, I move to Q3 state. And with another B, I will move to the Q4 state. So, that will be the final state. No, if I have my starting mein A a gaya, so I don't mind. I should stay at the Q3 state only. So Q3 is the non-final state and Q4 is the final state. Now, if somebody asks me that I have a language L3 that starts with A and ends with B. So what is what is being suggested? The smallest string for the L1 was A, and the smallest string of L2 is B. So it says that any string that starts with A and ends with B is AB. So what we can say that A is the part of L1 and B is the part of L2. Can I not say that L3 language is equal to L1 concatenation L2 because L1 language says that it starts with A and the L2 language says that it is the ending with B over the same alphabet set AB. So I can say that the L3 language is equal to L1 concatenation L2. So if I'm saying something like this A con uh, concatenation B so this means that I'm talking about a string, let's say a string of type x, y, where x is the part of a and y is the part of b. So let's say, let's see kya hum L3 ke liye automata bana paenge ke nahi. So it's a, it is something like concatenation. So agar hum in dono automata ko concatenate karke banaye, it means q0 state, then Q1 is uh, with A, I should move to Q1 state. I am making according to the L1. Okay. And if my string starts with B, I should move to Q2 state, which is a non final state. If I get AB, I should remain at the non final state only. So if my string has started with A, and after this, my string should end with B. So my string is ending with B. 
let's say that it is moving to the final state specified by the L2 language, let's say that is Q4. Now, if I get some more B, I should remain at this state. If I get an A, I should move to Q1 because my string should end with B. After getting an A, if I keep getting A, I should remain at a state Q1. So, ye jo automata humne banaya. so this is the automata for, this is the DFA for L1 concatenation L2. So, if I can make the DFA for L1 and DFA for L2, it means that I am able to make the DFA for L3 also, where L3 is the concatenation of L1 and L2. So, we can say that the class of regular languages, since L1 was a regular language, if we can design the DFA for a language, it means that that language is regular. So, class of regular languages are closed under concatenation. So, this is the conclusion I am drawing after this example. So, this should you should remember always that the class of regular languages are closed under concatenation. So, thanks for watching this video. We will come again with another concept related to the DFA.